In all of our Best of the West rifles, they all have a one to eight twist ratio. And what that means is that that bullet is making one full rotation every eight inches. The farther away you go, that bullet is naturally gonna drift to the right. A good analogy to think about to kind of visualize spin drift is if you know any pilots or you're a pilot that fly prop planes, that airplane is naturally going to drift into the direction that the props are spinning. So as you can see here, since I just zeroed at 200, I actually want my shots to be about an inch to the left. That way at 500, my shots are gonna be dead center. And then out to 1,000, I'm just gonna be an inch or two off to the right. Whereas if I started my zero right dead center at 200, at 500, I'm gonna be a little right. And out to 1,000, I might be five to six inches right. So it's a good thing to keep in mind when you're zeroing your rifle, if you're gonna be shooting long range, you want your close range to be a little left. Understanding spin drift is just gonna make you a more effective and more accurate shooter. You know, it's just something to keep in mind when you're out practicing and kind of learning your rifle and shooting your rounds. Um, just knowing how your bullet is naturally going to drift due to spin drift. So make sure that you go out there and you practice and you find out how your bullet's going to drift at different ranges. So we're out here today on some BLM land, just wrapping up some shooting. And uh, we're gonna be picking up some trash. Uh, the same perception is reality. It looks pretty bad, like, on hunters and on shooters when there's a ton of trash around where people go to shoot. Um, so picking up trash, making the area look better than how we found it. We really encourage people who come out to BLM land or your local gun range, make sure you leave it better than you found it. Uh, that way it's good for the next people that come by.